CNN's little Brad Stelter is upset again, this time because people are thinking too much. Four words, four little words that are hurting America's pandemic response. What are they? Here, let Sean Hannity tell you. He loves these words. Do your own research. Please do your own research. Do your own research. Do your own research. There's a ton of it right on, you know, at the tip of your fingers on your own phone. That phrase, do your own research, is popping up a lot in conversations about coronavirus and about COVID vaccines. Nicki Minaj used similar wording in that tweet this week saying she was doing research. But this go it alone approach, doing your own research, it seems so innocent, but it can have serious consequences. Yes, it can have consequences, like people finding out that the coronavirus came from the Wuhan lab where it was manufactured, or that the Hunter Biden laptop story is true, and that him and old Joe really do have shady dealings with the Chinese, and that it wasn't Russian disinformation. But despite being consistently wrong about nearly everything, CNN's Brian Stelter wants you to believe him. I mean, I guess since his show is called Reliable Sources, he must be reliable. And speaking of drag queens, the Emmys were Sunday night, sort of the Oscars of the television business where they shower awards on everybody. And now the most awarded black man in Emmys history is drag queen RuPaul for his drag queen competition show. Yes, Hollywood gave him, of all people, the most awards of any black man because he has popularized drag queens. The culture in America has degraded so much that Good Morning America on ABC has promoted child drag queens like the 12-year-old Desmond is Amazing, who came out to a thunderous applause led by the soulless Michael Strahan. The only thing the media loves to do more than promote drag queens is complain about white people. Here's MSNBC's Joy Reid. If you've been watching the news for the past few days or on Twitter or, or TikTok, you're probably familiar with the name Gabby Petito, the 22-year-old aspiring social media influencer who was reported missing after her fiancé returned from their van life excursion without her. But the way this story has captivated the nation has many wondering, why not the same media attention when people of color go missing? Well, the answer actually has a name, Missing White Woman Syndrome, the term coined by the late and great Gwen Eiffel, to describe the media and public fascination with missing white women like Lacey Peterson or Natalie Holloway, while ignoring cases involving missing people of color. It is ironic that her name is Joy, which she's so angry all the time. But speaking of missing black people, statistics show that 75% of black fathers are missing from their children's homes. But now that this poor girl's body has been found, many are complaining about that story. Not because of the constant coverage saturating the airwaves and the internet 24-7, like an endless Dateline mystery, but because she only got that much attention, they say, because she's white. Apparently, there's a significant number of Native American women, or indigenous women, who go missing from their tribal lands. Or, in other words, Native American men are murdering. Most of them, unfortunately, are found dead within a few weeks, having been killed by you-know-who, but you can't talk about certain crime statistics because when they involve BIPOC people, black, indigenous, or people of color, those facts and statistics are deemed racist. The media loves a good murder mystery and is obsessed with one or another for decades, from the JonBenet Ramsey case to Natalie Holloway to Lacey Peterson, but all that stopped during the Trump administration because the media didn't have time for anything else other than complaining about Donald Trump. These high-profile murder cases aren't about news. They're not even about an agenda directly. They're really about just keeping everybody distracted with mindless and meaningless drama. That way, people won't pay attention to things like the invasion at the border. But thankfully, we have Peter Ducey of Fox News, who is still allowed in the White House press corps. Is somebody asking the foreign nationals who are walking into Del Rio, Texas, and setting up camps on this side of the border for proof of vaccination or a negative COVID test? Well, first of all, I can re, re, I can readdress for you or re-talk re you through what that steps the, we that take. That is the policy for people who fly into the country. So if somebody walks into the country right across the river, does somebody ask them to see their vaccination card? Well, come on, man. Illegal aliens are exempt from the rules, just like celebrities. And at the Emmys on Sunday, the celebrities were exempt from the new mask mandates, which have been reintroduced in Los Angeles. But the poor publicists and staff and paparazzi 
still had to wear theirs. Look at the poor slaves in the background, the staff, the paparazzi, even the publicists all had to wear their masks while the celebrity gods parade around on the red carpet without theirs because they know what's best. Same with the Met Gala. Everybody's heard about Alexandre Ocasio-Cortez's ridiculous dress, but if you look carefully there too, you can notice that the poor staff, the slaves, they had to wear their masks while the attendees, of course, did not. After San Francisco Mayor London Breed got busted violating her mask mandate, partying without a mask, she told critics to stop being the fun police. <laughs> Seriously. Of course, you know that the pandemic that I'm concerned about is the liberal pandemic. And if you want to help spread the word and support my channel, order your Liberalism Find a Cure shirt from my online store at markdays.com. And like all of my designs, it's available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to markdays.com or click the link in the description below and check it out.